Garmin and Hummingbird better step up their game because Low Ranch just dropped the ball at ICAST with the Eagle uh, 9. Now, before we dive into this, I'm just going to give my thoughts, just a little background. I have over 25,000 hours with forward facing sonar. I can tell you anything that you want to know about forward facing sonar. So, needless to say, that I'm excited about this unit coming to life. It's going to be a roller coaster. Now, Eagle I 9. Now, I don't want to get no comments. Live scope's cheating, Steven. Why the luck? Look, if you're one of those people, get the hell out of my video because that's not what this video is about. The technology's here, it's going to stay. And here we go. The Lowrance Eagle I-9 just announced at ICAST. This thing is fully loaded with a nine inch screen and one transducer. You don't have a box to plug your transducer in. It's, it's a plug and play. It can't get no simpler than that. Now this one transducer is gonna give you the capabilities of forward facing sonar, down facing sonar, down imaging with fish reveal and chirp sonar and guess what it's also preloaded with c maps this is 999 dollars out the gate brand new so from a year from now these things are going to be going for like six to seven hundred bucks on facebook marketplace like <laughs> This is unreal. Now, the only downside I can see about this, as you can see from the imaging, you're missing half your screen at the very beginning. You don't really get the full experience of forward facing sonar until you get about 15 feet out. But if you adapt your techniques, you know, your 13 foot, your 15 foot ACCs might not come into play, but they still will because check this out. You got dual screens. So top screen, forward facing sonar, bottom screen, down facing sonar. You can see everything. They thought about that. Now, the way this is working is they're using the active target one rays, but they're only gonna give you the top two rays and then they put the bottom ray on the down one. So I believe they did all that so they could fit everything into this transducer. I'm not 100% sure, but I really wanna get my hands on one of these, get out on the water and actually test it out. Uh, so if you do end up getting one, I would love for you to send me a message and let's go on a trip. I just want to try this thing out. Because, I mean, with Active Target 1, there is a little bit of a delay on the forward facing. If you pick your jig up, it kind of, you know, a couple milliseconds before the screen actually does anything, which Garmin does not do. But if you fish with it for a little while, you get used to it. So, as a consumer and somebody that enjoys forward facing sonar i'm super excited this is going to make this affordable for about everybody especially a year from now now i don't know exactly when these things are supposed to release some of the websites say pre-orders are uh end of october some say in the middle of september i haven't really looked into it that much i i may flash it up on the screen if they actually do have a release date for this but this is going to be brand new 999 dollars comes with everything you need. All you need is a battery and a boat. And you've got everything you need up front on your boat. Your down imaging, your chirp, forward facing, down facing. Uh, if you enjoy jigging down, just put that on down facing. If you enjoy casting, put it on forward facing. <clears throat> I mean, I, I don't know what Garmin and Hummingbird could do. I mean, I guess they could come out Garmin could remake some LVS 32s and sell them cheaper. That's the only thing I know they could do. They used to have the LVS 15, which was the pan optics and that thing looked horrible. So I really hope they don't come out with a unit with that because I'd rather them just remake the LVS 32. Hummingbird, there should already be about $700 for everything except the unit. So we ain't gonna talk about Hummingbird. Hummingbird's off their game. But I just wanna make a quick video like five minute video hope you enjoyed it uh low rents eagle i9 keep a watch out for it if you've been wanting to buy a unit i mean you're going to get everything you need in one compact unit